In today's lesson, we'll be going over G00 and G01. G00 is a rapid straight line movement. You use G00 when you're trying to save on cycle time, when you're trying to move a tool from one point to another point quickly. Uh, you'll never use G00 when you're actually milling, drilling, tapping, anything to do with the actual workpiece. You have a G01, which is a controlled straight line movement. You use G01 when you're milling, drilling, tapping, anything with the actual workpiece. Uh, you control the G01 with the feed rate, which is called out with an F in the program. Uh, and you measure feed rate in inches per minute. Uh, now, where do you determine what the feed rate is going to be? Well, that all matters on the material you're working with, the tool you're working with, uh, if your machine has coolant or if it doesn't have coolant. It all, it all plays a role. So, uh, uh, G00 and G01, they're both modal commands. Meaning, in order to turn off a G00, you have to call up another G code within that group. And G00 and G01 happen to be in the same group. So if I go from G00 and I don't want it anymore, uh, I could call up a G01 and the machine will start now reading the control straight line movements. You also have G02 and G03 within the same group. We'll learn about those at a later time. You have two different movements. You have an interpolated move and a dog leg move. The interpolated move is what you'll commonly see today in CNC machines. Uh, interpolated move is when all access move at the same time. So if you have uh, two different access called up, for example, like right here, we have an X axis and a Y axis move, X3, Y3. Starting here at zero, uh, it'll get to the point X3, Y3 at the same time, moving all access at the same time. Uh, your dog leg move, uh, you'll see that in a lot of older machines. Uh, that's where only one axis move at a time. You can call it five axis in one block of code, but you're only going to see the machine moving one axis at a time. So for example, axis 3, y of 3, starting here at 0, going over to an axis 3, and up to a y of 3. We master the same point, but this just takes longer, and this is a lot more convenient. Now, we're going to go to an example here. Um, we're just going to be doing a contour of a square. Uh, my G54, which is my work coordinate system, is right down here in the corner, X0, Y0. My Z0 is the top of the part. Now here's the program I have made up here. We're just going to pretend that I called up the tool already. I already said we're in the G54. Um, the spindle's already on, everything. We're just going to be going over the G00 and the G01, the purpose of this lesson. Um, this marker here is going to represent a quarter inch mill. So, I'm sitting here at Machine Home, and I'm calling up a G00, which is my rapid straight line movement. Uh, I'm calling up an X2, Y2, and a Z of 0.1. Uh, the Z of 0.1 means I'm 100 thou above my work, my work piece. I am at Machine Home, X2, Y2, and a Z of 0.1, so I wrap it down quickly. I'm not actually into the work piece yet, I'm just, the tools are sitting above the work piece. Ready to, ready to do some milling. Now I'm calling up a G01. Calling up the G01 now is turning off the G00. So now I'm in a controlled straight line movement. And I'm moving in the Z axis to a Z of negative 20 thou at a feed rate of 20 inches per minute. So now I'm actually in to the workpiece. And now I'm going to be going over to an X of 3. Now remember, G00 and G01 are modal commands. So I don't have to call it up every time. Um, G01 is going to stay active for all these lines of code until I call up this G00. So here I am into my workpiece at X2, Y2. I'm moving over to an X3. Y3, back to X2, and down to Y2. Um, now I'm going to be calling up a G00, turning off the G01. G00 is your rapid straight line movement, and I'm saying Z of 1. So I'll be moving out to 1 inch above the part. We have now successfully completed the contour of the square. Now, let's go out to the shop and make some chips. Just a friendly reminder, this is a Pugman production. All right, so I had the program loaded up onto the machine. This program is the same program that we went over in the classroom on the whiteboard. Uh, just a brief, brief summary of this program. Uh, got the program name, 01. 
uh, in parentheses, I named the program G00 versus G01. As always, it's a bug man production. Uh, on line N5, calling up tool 4 and 10 is uh, saying I'm in an absolute coordinate system. Uh, G54 is my work coordinate system, going to an axis of 0, y is 0. Uh, turn the spindle on to a spindle speed of 1000. Line N15 is my G43, calling up my tool account for tool 4, wrapping down to a Z of 0.1. In line N20 is where we actually start, where we started in the classroom. G00, X2, Y2, moving down to Z of 100 thou by the part. G01, moving 20 thou into the part. We had a feed rate of 20 inches per minute. X3, Y3, X2, Y2. Then G00, wrapping one inch above the part. And G28 sending the machine home and M30 ending the program. Alright, here we are on the vertical mill. Uh, we will be using a quarter inch end mill. I've already done the tool height compensation for the tool. My Z0 is on top of my part. My Y0 is right here. My X0 is right here, causing my 0 to be right here at this point. Just like in the classroom. Let's start making some chips. I'll be moving in single block mode so I can explain every movement. So, as you can hear the beeping, I am moving through the program names. So, right now, it's moving to my G54X0, Y0. And I have my rapid at 5%, so that way you guys can clearly see more of what's going on. My spindle just came on. Right now, it's, uh, it's going to be picking up my tool height compensation. Now I'm moving my rapid up to 50%, so you guys get the full idea of what rapid is. So boom, I just moved down to 100 thou above my workpiece. Now I'll be moving over to X2, Y2. Now I'll be going into my G01 down to negative 20 thou into my part at a feed rate of 20 inches per minute. Boom, we have chips. We're moving to, over to an X of 3. Y of 3. X of 2. Y of 2. Now, I'm getting out of the G01 command, I'll be going over to G00, Z of 1. So I'll be moving one inch above the part. And now I'll be sending the machine home. And there you have it. And there you have it. We have the beautiful contour of a square. All to the power of G00 and G01. I hope you enjoyed this video. A huge thank you to Jamestown Community College, Jamestown Campus for letting me use their machines and their material. Thank you. If you like this video, please give it a like and a subscribe.